Hey guys, this is Texas Rails and Racing Productions here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my NASCAR diecast collection here. This is the 2024 edition. So yeah, I mean, pretty much it looks about like the same here from last year, except now we have lots more 2023 diecasts and about four 2024s. Since, yeah, I'm, I'm, I decided to make this video like during the Olympic break for NASCAR since they're off for two weeks because of the Olympics that that started yesterday as a, as of how I'm filming this because either this video is going to come out today um, July 27th or it'll come out tomorrow on July 28th which is Sunday so yeah and as of right now I'm like like at, as I'm filming this video um, I still have a few videos like to upload for my trip so yeah so I mean just I mean this video is probably gonna come out after those videos are done and being uploaded, so yeah. So yeah, just so just but yeah, just you can see here this is my collection here. We have some um 124 win cards, a few haulers. Down here we have Altheg's uh, accessories, some old diecasts, truck, Xfinity, 187s, and then some um special ones and some promos. So yeah, we're gonna go through my entire collection here, and since I, I have a camera and a camcorder now, I'm gonna do this a bit different though. Now that I have this here, so yeah. So, anyways, let's get started. So, starting off in the back here, um, I'm actually be zooming in my my camera here, so that way it'll be much easier to do since now I have this camcorder. So yeah, being in the back though, we have our, my 124s. You could tell that that most of them are Kyle Bushes. Like, yeah, you can, yeah, beginning here we have his 2019 Pocono win, then we have 2020 Texas, 2021 Clash, 2021 Kansas win, which he won on his birthday that time. Then it is Pocono win from 2021, the second race, because that weekend it was a double header. Then his Bristol Dirt win, his last win for Joe Gibbs Racing. And then his Autoco win, his first one for RCR. Then his Talladega win which was just two days after my birthday last year. Then his, his gateway win, which is currently the last time he won for RCR since he still hasn't won this year. Hopefully he can, so yeah. And then we have his truck win, the last win for KBM. And then Jimmy Johnson's 2020 throwback. Chase Elliott's 2021 Coda win. Kyle Larson's 2021 Texas win. And then right here, I never showed this here, but I actually have this Kevin Harvick... Um, 2021 Grave Digger car they ran at Nashville. I never did show that there, but yeah, I actually got this back in um, back in last year of December after Christmas. Like this was during the Black Friday sales on Circle B diecast, and I managed to get this for a good deal. And then right there we have a Bobby Labonte diecast I got at a train show in 2022. So yeah, and then right there we have some 2016 and. A a 2011 double mint car so yeah or actually I think that one's actually from 2017 I'm probably wrong so yeah and then right here we have some 2017s even including that Landon Castle diecast which is of course CSX yeah I really, really like the scheme though and then we have some cards so yeah I mean I do apologize if you can if they're kind of squeezed in together I had to make room for these here, which, yeah, you can see there are the haulers. I have a Tony Stewart and two Kyle Bushes, one Cheddars, and one from his 200th win. And then moving to the next row, we have 2018. So, yeah, and you can see there, there's the Kyle Bush ones. So, yeah, which there's a Caramel car, which I really like. And, yeah, and then there's also Chase Light's first win. Yeah, then moving to the next row, we have 2019. You can see here, here's all of them. Yeah, and there, right there is Kyle Busch's second championship win. And even the Hazelnut car, which is my favorite scheme from 2019. So yeah, and then we have Chase Light's Charlotte win, which when he crashed into the turn one wall and then still managed to win that, that was, that was impressive. Then we have... Corey LaJoy's Scooby-Doo car that he ran at Martinsville. And then, yeah, and then there's also Jay McMurray, which that would have been his last ride, but he did in the 2021 Daytona 500. 
So who knows if he's going to do another race now. So yeah, and then we have more here. So yeah, and then, and then yeah, there's the end there. Now moving on to 2020 here. So yeah, here they are here. Like there's Byron's Exalted Color of the Year, I think that's the name. Yeah, he ran that in the 2020 day, 2500, even though that scheme finished last. And then, yeah, here's more. Here's actually that, that Jimmy Johnson tribute uh, trio right there of Elliot, Byron, and Bowman. And, of course, that that Johnson scheme, which I showed up earlier on the 124 scale. And then there's more. And then there's that Ryan Newman scheme where he ran in the 2020 day, 2500, and almost won, but flipped terribly. Really glad he survived that. And then here's more Kyle Bushes. So yeah. And um Yeah, and yeah, like right here, I'm gonna show this here. Um yeah, this is actually on um, the Bristol Ulcer scheme. Yeah, since they moved the numbers back for that race. And then here's also the clash on the car. So yeah. And moving on, we also have the first 77 diecast in the come out in the gold series. Well, in the first one, like in the 2020s, which was Ross Chastain. So, yeah. And then moving on here, there's Corey the Joy of the Mask car, which is pretty neat, to say the least. Then there's Jimmy Johnson's final ride in the 48. So, yeah, which, of course, yeah, last year and this year he did part time, but it's really not gone well. And then there's also the Kobe Bryant cars, and also Daniel Suarez's Gaunt Brothers. Car, which that's the only time the Gompers ever got a, a diecast since pretty much now they're they're not around anymore. I don't know why. So yeah. And then there's the end of 2020 either. Now moving on to 2021, which this is this is the most I have of all the years right here because literally you can see there's a second row right here. So yeah. Yeah, just beginning here, um yeah, there's there's all these here. There was even that A Shock car, which not only was around for two years for Chase Elliott's. And then the Hooters Night Owl, which unfortunately Hooters is not around anymore. And even this, um, wait, hang on. Oh yeah, that, that's Garrett Smithley there. Yeah, that's the that's my only 53 car I have. So yeah, and then moving on here. And there's also BJ McLeod, my only 78 for Live Fast. And there's Ryan Priest, Michael, Michael McDowell's Daytona 500 win, handful of Kyle Bushes, which, yeah, um, this is this is the regular version, and this is the um, this is the metal chassis with the rubber tires. So yeah, and here's just more and more, and then there's my first Daniel Suarez Trackhouse car. So yeah, and then there's LaJoy's seven car, which next year he's no longer the seven. Yeah, and then there's more here, and there's that Austin Cindric 33, and yeah, there's that row, and then here's the second row here. Yeah, I just have so many here. Even I have a JJ Ely die cast in the 15. So yeah, and there's also Bob Wallace's first career win. Yeah, now moving on to 2022. Yeah, here's just lots more. You know, there's even that Greg Biffle car I got uh, that I got here that is from NY Racing. Nice to have a 44. And then here's all these Kyle Busch ones, which was his last year in the 18. And yeah, and then there's also the money team of um, Casgrella. Yeah, and there's also the, there's also that Larson diecast, which apparently it's actually a metal chassis. Then there's Kimi Raikkonen, my first 91 diecast. Uh, and then here's more and also here's even Briscoe and Cindric which are actually from the winter, winter circle wave yeah but I managed to get them off their bases and then now moving on to 2023 which last year I only showed four in the collection well now I have more yeah and there's like Jimmy Johnson there that Kevin Harvick 29 they ran the all-star race yeah Ty Gibbs, Noah Gregson, McDowell the tight end game duo right here of Haley and Almendinger. And then there's Ryan Priest and a handful of Kyle Bushes. Like, I got all the ones that were released in the 164 scale last year, including these race wins. Yeah, like Lucas Oil and those two. Yeah, and then there's more here. 
There was even that tie down in 77. Yeah, and then a few ones for the Authentics, like Zane Smith there. And then there's even that Kevin Harvick Budweiser tribute. SVG, his first win. And then these right these right here, um, Bowman and Suarez here. I, I got those while I was on my trip, which I got Bowman's Homestead car and then Suarez's Slam scheme. And then over here I have two duos here, the Hamburglar and Grimace, and then the Talladega Knight said. So yeah. And then moving over here, I just have just four 2024s here, which I have Kyle Busch, William Byron, Chase Elliott, and Kyle Larson, which that Larson is from the 1100 said, which unfortunately Larson didn't get to run the Coke 600, but he did run the scheme at, at Indy and managed to win it. So yeah. Then over here we have my Xfinity. I have that five set of Kyle Busch. So yeah, and then there's also... um. Uh, Ryan Truex win from Dover last year, and we also have an Ogrex, and that's from, also from the Winter Circles. And then we have some trucks. Wait, let me fix that there. Yeah, those two are my newest. Yeah, and then for here we just have some iRacing racing cars. I have two Haley Deegans I just paired up together because, like, one's from KN, one's from Arca. So yeah. Then I have some old diecasts here, including a Dale and Harwich. This was, this was released around last year for um, the 25th anniversary of his Daytona 500 win. So yeah, and then we have some other old ones here. So yeah, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty nice here. And then over here we have some promos here, like these these two Hendrix here. Then I have my promo die from my first race. And that Dale Jr. download car. Then I have this Checker the Wreckers Dale Jr. here. From 2014. Then I have a Ryan Newman Little Color diecast. And here are some 187s, which they don't make anymore. Probably because they didn't they may may not have done well. And then here's some magnets. Well, I mean some of these are like th these four right here are not magnets, they're just stickers. So yeah. I mean I do have other stickers, but there's some but they're around in my room. So yeah, and then here's some cards here, which I didn't stack along with these hood pieces because I just didn't have room. And then actually down here I have a Kevin Harvick pit sign. So yeah. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much about like my collection here. So yeah, I mean basically just every year it just gets bigger and bigger. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how I'm gonna make it like for next year if I have more around here. Or even like heck like 2026 or even beyond that. Like I don't know how I'm gonna do it beyond like past 2025 if my collection if my collection's even bigger than this depending on how many more undie casts I'll be having by then so yeah but then again though just yeah this is my entire collection as of 2024 in July so yeah but so I'm gonna try and get this video out today or tomorrow but yeah just since I'm filming this video today July 27th like it'll be out either today or tomorrow July 28th but yeah, we'll just see those depending on how I get my other videos for my trip uploaded, which those will hopefully be out today. So yeah, but so just yeah, here's my collection though again. Hope you guys at least enjoy this year. So yeah, but we'll see how it looks coming in, into next year in 2025, but we'll find that out. So yeah, but anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.